topic. This is the solved question paper of Biswanath district. Here are the answers. First question, what is hub? We can write a hub is a networking device used to connect different network, networking devices together. Then what is the use of internal CSS? You can read the answer from the screen. Name the tag used to define title to the table. This is caption tag. What is hyperlink? Hyperlink is to link two web pages together. Three logical tag. These are and or not. What is element? An element is everything from on tag to the off tag, including the content. What is return type? Every function must return something and the type of data which the function return is called return type. Pointer. It is a special variable that store the address of another variable. What are networking protocol? A set of rules that are followed by computer while transferring data between them. It is called as protocol. Two example HTTP FTP. And what is container tag? The tag which contain both closing and opening tag they are known as container. For example B then you write a text then close B. You can give any example. Explain why table are popular. It's already have in book. You can write as it is two mark question. You can write two points. Then what is internal linking? Internal linking is used to link a part of a web page to another section of the same web page. What is TCL? TCL is used with DML command so that if an any unwanted change is done in DML, it can be rolled back. Normally in DML, we do changes in our changes with the information in our tables, like uh, changing the name or adding new data. So if we want to go to previous state, we can use TCL command along with the DML. Next, what are constraint? Constraint are the rules that help ensure validity of the data while entering data in a table. For example, suppose we have a field where we set the maximum size of the character is 20. So if anyone try to enter a name which contain more than 20 character, it will not allowed. So these are the two constraint are primary key, not null, foreign key, null, etc. How many types of loop are there? There are three types of loop. They are while loop, do while loop and for loop. What are the limitation of array? These are fixed size and homogeneous data. What do you mean by library function? The function that are defined in C header file. And few example of library files are printf, scanf. What is recursive function? When a function call itself, it is known as recursive function. Now three marks question. Total 9 questions are there for 27 marks. First one is host name. Why we should not use host name to identify a computer in a network. The name of the computer is known as host name. And as we know, we can change our computer name at any time. And also same name can be kept by any other computer in the same network. So. It is not a good idea to keep host name to uniquely identify its computer in a network. What is TCP? TCP is used to establish communication between two computers and IP. It gives a numeric label or numeric address to the computer connected to network. And relationship between them, TCP breaks the file into packets and IP address assigned address destination address to the packets means IP is responsible to deliver the packets and TCP establish the communication what is CSS CSS is used to style our web page or website different methods are inline CSS internal CSS and external inline it is used to style a sim single tag inline uh, sorry internal it is used to style a single web page and external for multiple web pages how images are added in a web page we use IMZ tag to add images in a web page and widely used images jpg png and gif here n is missing you write yourself png 
distinguish between internal and external link internal link we used to make link within the same page and external link with another page in the same website or to a different website you can also give example as it is three mark question why mysql becoming so popular it's already in book you can write any three points distinguish between dml and ddl you can write this way like ddl it is used to define the data and dml it is used to modify the database and also you can write to two example like dm ddl is create alter dml insert update what is a loop explain three portion of a loop loop repetition of same instruction for a specific number of time it is called loop and three portion as a almost all the loop uses these three portions initialization here we write the starting value condition here we write the condition till what the loop should continue and update expression here we will specify in each step how much we want to increase or decrease then what is array array is collection of similar type of data stored in contiguous memory location and how to declare array to declare an integer array we can write this way int num and in square bracket size of the array here num will be the ad name of the array this is also known as base address and the array can store maximum seven elements you can give any other number you can write 10 also it will be not wrong now next question j write a program to find the largest number among the series of number this is very common question and uh, here we are declaring an array of size 10 and one variable i then one more variable large and we took it is zero then we are taking input to the array after that again we are using for loop there we are comparing large with other elements of the array if it is larger than the element then we are replacing it with large and finally we are displaying the value of large so this way we can write this program number k how many type of function are there there are three two type of function library function and user defined library are library functions are defined in c header file and user defined function it is defined by the programmer and also you can give examples next question it is from pointer write a c program to dynamically allocate memory for an array to store 10 integers and display first five out of them so here we are declaring an pointer int star arr after that we are writing arr equal int into malloc 10 into size of int that means after integer we took 10 more spaces so this variable now can store 10 values inside it after that we are writing a for loop int i equal 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and here just i am giving the value of i to the array like uh, arr i means arr 0 will be i plus 1 that means 0 plus 1 1 then till 10 we are going to store it like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and for displaying the elements again we are using for loop int i equal 0 i less than 5 i plus plus here we are continuing till 5 and after that as we display normal array and that um, that way only we are writing it and here the most important line is this two line where we are declaring the variable and the next line when where we are declaring uh, dynamic memory and to declare to use malloc function we have to use this header file stdlib.h that means standard library.h next question for five marks first question what is a computer network explain each type of network in details here you will write the definition of the network then you will explain pan lan man and van i gave just one one line explanation if you want to elaborate you can write more like in pan there is no network conjunction lan uh, design there is no need a uh, proper design then man conjunction is more van and here design is more difficult this way you can add little more points and you can make it more long but i think this will do for four and five marks what is the use of href attribute why do you include hyperlink in your web page href attribute of a tag is specify the url page the link goes to it is the most important attribute of a tag 
which define the hyperlink and why it is used hyperlink are used to link web pages or other resources together that allow user to navigate between them and the code to create text hyperlink is ahref then you write url after that write name of the link then a close now number c question it is from mysql create a mysql query to create a table customer with the structure given in the table so here i am creating a table that table name is customer like create table customer after it i am writing the field name and data type together after like customer id int primary key comma then again customer name barker it should be 20 again i write to customer name barker 20 not null comma or bracket will also be not closed then int salary date of join date of joining date not null then bracket close semicolon here two correction will be there uh, customer name worker 20 and after not null that bracket closing part is not there okay then insert five record in the table you will write insert into customer values and you will write five lines of record and each record you will separate it by comma and here with the numbers where we are using integer there you no need to put inverted comma but with character and that you will have to put inverted comma so at the last line instead of comma you are going to give semicolon down next question add a column gender after the customer name that can hold m or f value that means we have to take character so you will write alter table customer add gender character one after customer name then display the distinct customer name and salary so you will write select distinct customer name in bracket comma salary from customer then the next question display all the customer record whose salary is more than 20k here you will write select star from customer where salary greater than 20,000 then the next question again it is a program it is from function write a C program to define a function square that accepts a number as parameter and return the square here we are taking the return type of the function as double because while we are multiplying sometimes the user may give us a big number at that time to store answer of that number we need a more storages integer can hold only till i think nine digit numbers so it may give us difficulties that's why we are taking double as a return type and here in the function we are just returning num into num because square so we are returning whatever number user will give like if user is giving two then two into two and in main function we are again taking data type as double and here taking number and result then we are accepting the input and to re the format specifier for double is lf means long float after that we are calling the function in this line result equal square and passing the number as parameter and after that finally we are displaying the result print f square of percentage 2f is percentage 2f here and number so this way we can do this program these are the solved answer of this one and this trick i hope you have understood all the answers if you have any confusion or if you want to solve me any other district question paper you can share it in telegram group definitely i'll try to do it thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye